there is allegedly new evidence of FaZe members actually being guilty of the cryptocurrency scam. We're gonna show you all of the information in this video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you do not miss any more videos. So as you guys probably are aware, a lot of FaZe Cam members were recently accused of scamming with cryptocurrency. The members were FaZe K, FaZe Jarvis, FaZe Tico, and FaZe Nikan. FaZe K was permanently removed from FaZe Clan, and Jarvis, Nikan, and Tico are currently under investigation until further notice. We're all aware of this scam by now, and we're all aware of the drama surrounding the cryptocurrency save the kids. We know that they were putting in the money and putting out as fast as they could to make as much money as possible. And we also found out from FaZe K on the drama alert is that there's somebody behind the scenes who's actually really responsible for all of this. FaZe K actually made a response video on his YouTube channel basically saying that he's not as gill as everyone thinks he is and there is actually somebody who's betrayed his trust and actually somebody behind all of this like we predicted in the last video. Which means there is somebody behind all of this scenario who's actually trying to make them do this. Well, while FaZe K made a very emotional video on YouTube basically saying that there's somebody behind this, somebody's betrayed his trust and they, he cannot believe that somebody had done this to him. We all want to know who's behind this massive scam, is there somebody telling them to do it? Who is the person behind all of this trying to encourage them to scam their own fans? Well actually a lot of people are predicting certain people but we don't currently know right now who it is. However, certain evidence has come out to predict more things and new evidence has come to light on people who are actually not guilty in this scenario. As we know, FaZe K, Nikan, Tico and also Jarvis was kicked from FaZe Clan for doing this alleged scam. However, one of the members actually are pretty much innocent and that member is FaZe Tico. CoffeeZilla made a Twitter announcement saying he's about to release a massive follow-up to save the kids but before he does, he just wants to know that everybody, that Tico's wallet is actually clear. Inside of Tico's crypto wallet, it actually went through all and he did not sell his crypto at all. He was probably the only person who actually wanted to save the kids. This huge announcement came from CoffeeZilla on his Twitter video and he's due to make a new video very soon on YouTube, basically looking into every single person in more detail. But he's just come out and said that Tico is actually innocent and he was the only person out of all of them who didn't sell the crypto. He's actually very innocent and he's going to make a full video regarding this. So we're still waiting to hear, only hear about Jarvis, Nikan and FaZe K. Are these guys innocent? Well, as we know, FaZe K made a statement on his YouTube video saying that he's not as gay as everyone seems he makes it to be. We don't know for sure who is behind this, but we want to find out who this is. We're going to find out who is behind this and let you guys know as soon as possible. If you don't already know, this whole scenario is getting out of control. CoffeeZilla also said that FaZe K response video was the worst one he's ever seen in a long time. Coming from a tweet from Jake Lucky saying that FaZe K did not even say I'm sorry one single time in his video. People are going crazy about this. People are saying that FaZe K needs to say sorry, but FaZe K is pretty much saying that he's not guilty as everybody thinks he is, and I think he's not allowed to say anything until further notice. The reason is because FaZe K is dealing with this legally and he's not actually allowed to make a video announcing anything right now until the case is solved. So we don't know right now who is behind this, but we do know that FaZe K seems to be not guilty. Many people think he is, but it's all within the legal procedures. CoffeeZilla also then tweeted saying that Tico probably lost money from this whole thing and he's actually minus $30,000 from this crypto and he's probably legitimately a victim in all of this scenario. So what we get from this is that FaZe K looked guilty, Jarvis hasn't really come out and said anything about this, Nikon hasn't really said anything, but Tico has been seen from his crypto work to be pretty much not guilty in any of these scenarios and seems to be like an actual victim in the scenario. So this means that Tico could potentially be joining back to FaZe. We don't know yet, but we're going to keep you guys up to date. As soon as we hear any more in the scenario, we're going to keep you guys up to date. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and we'll keep you guys up to date. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.